So you work at this company and this designer comes up with this layout. Straight corner cutouts, inverted curved corners, and you're supposed to see what's behind through the gaps. Or a user car like this, same type of corners and you must implement this very soon. What do you do? I. Let me show you a technique to use to solve these problems. For this video, I will show you a technique to create cutout corners. You will likely feel the need to use working as a front end. Then you can apply this to any crazy layout, cards, etc. I have here three boxes with box class and classes one, two, three simple 370 pixel gray boxes and you must already know border radius but do you know you could also provide two values for x and y and possibly create toast sites like this okay i'll cover more on that on some other video but if i want to do straight cut border radius won't help since it only makes curved corners for cutout effect i use the background gradient for, or css clip path but clip path is not well supported in most browsers right now I'll set my background and I'll use the linear gradient. And the first thing I set is the angle. And to target diagonal angle, my options are 45, negative 45, 135, and negative 135 to create a straight 45 degree cutout. So I set it to be 135 degree for now. And the next thing I need to specify is how much of a cut I am making. So I set my transparent and size of the transparency, then the color I want to fill everywhere else with. And finally, zero. Zero will prevent any transition from transparent to gray. It's a hard stop. Next, I'm gonna make more corners appear cut out, but I can't simply duplicate this and change angle because a transparent part of one will cover the other. So first I need to make both of these 50% tall. And by default, these are placed top left. So I'll make the second bottom left and we see them both and the cutouts. So let me change the angle so we get the cutouts in opposite diagonal corners. And if I change colors, we see both gradients better. To make all corners cut out, we need to repeat this technique, but this time I'll make 50% width and height and position each in one corner, changing their color so they are much easier to track. I can also make curved cutouts using radial gradient and it works in a very similar way. Instead of specifying the angle, I say which shape and where's position so in this case circle at top left and like that i have my curve cut out with that we can reproduce the notification indicator i showed you in the beginning i'll add the before pseudo element and i use the data notification attribute i set in html as the css content value absolute position it and set some style for background and color and font center it with display flex give it some dimensions and then position a negative half size Finally, I'll make it round with border radius and increase the font size. And voila! Please like, share, and subscribe for more contents like this. Thank you for watching and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.